All right, we are back with some before or some magic before work. Before work magic, whatever. It is five thirty in the morning. I don't have. I can't figure this stuff out. Let me check. Let's make sure. Yeah, five twenty-eight. Okay. So I missed yesterday because sometimes babies get on their own schedule. So I don't. I don't make those calls. But this morning, we have got a new version of Esper Control. Um, so we made some changes to this, um, and based off of some other. So there was like a five and zero list on the on the Magic Online tournaments recently, and so I took a lot of what they were doing and put it in here. So see though, we kind of have the same win con win idea here. We still have like Dream Trawler on the high end. We got rid of Liliana. Now we're using Ashok Nightmare Muse. So lower lower the curve a little bit. Um, a few fewer of Elspeth Conquers Death. You can see in the low end, we now have Metamata. <laughs> Metamize Prophecy, which is turning out to be a pretty sweet card. Um, it's It has its downsides, but it's pretty good. Uh, lots of things to deal with control. We see Agonizing Remorse and Thought Erasure, so just Hand Disruption. Four to Fairies, of course. Um, and then a little bit more uh, life, life Gain, hopefully, against the Mono Red with Yoth of Kaya. Mortify is a good removal spell. Have one Tyrant Scorn. And then these Narsets, too, to deal with some of the blue, the Simic Ramp decks. So, kind of like this all-around toolbox trying to deal with um, basically our enemies. The only thing I'm a little worried about is our board wipes. Only two Kai's Wrath in the main, which maybe is good, because if we don't hit an aggro deck, they're really dead cards. And then we can see on the sideboard here, one more Kai's Death, one more Elspeth Conqueror's Death, a couple Kaya, so in case we run into some Titans. Um, this, this list used, used to have two, um, I can't remember what they're called. Doesn't matter, they're two creatures, but I replaced them with Mystical Disputes. Got some Spy Glasses, Dovin's Veto, etc. Spyglasses again to deal with the uh, the Titans. Yep, pretty sweet. Uh, a couple Dovin Vetoes, Devout Decree. Okay, let's see how she does. Let's get into a best of three here before we gotta go to work. So I'm a little sleepy. And we want traditional, standard, ranked Esper Control. Let's let her go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get this done. Test, tested the deck a couple times last night. To finish some quests. I'm optimistic. We'll see. Good morning, Vanek. What brings you to this early hour? So early thought erasure is good. Othkai is good. I'm a little worried if I don't... I draw like three more lands in a row. This is going to be a hard game. But uh, we, sh we shouldn't. We've got the temples... There's a Dream Trawler. That's I'm happy to see that. Another Temple. So I need to get up to six lands. I have another Temple. I don't know if I want another Temple. Let's... Uh, let's get rid of it, I guess. I mean, we have a lot of chance to see lands here. We have another temple. We have a thought erasure. So we're going to go through quite a few more cards. Oh. Guess we're not going to go through more cards. Because he's probably going to get rid of my thought erasure. Yeah. That's okay. We'll just temple right away. Guess we're not going to temple right away. Scry two here. Definitely want this. Probably don't want one of these. So next turn, we'll Temple of Silence. See what's the next card. That's okay. This guy got the nut draw, though. Holy cow. Going Also, going first is just wrecking me. Right, so I'm going to play Atris, the half, whatever his name is. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, fine. I'll type it in if I have to. Oracle of Half-Truths, which is a strong card. Man, going second has totally wrecked me this game. Narset is very good in this matchup. Now look what I did myself. No lands. I'm in trouble on the lands now. Wow. Uh, that's okay. We're... Oh, wow. I don't have the lands to play Narset. I am stupid. Yep. So that was pretty bad. So he's got another thought erasure. 
coming in hot. Do I just Elspeth conquers death here into nothing? I'm, I'm pretty tempted to do this, honestly. I think I just do this. Because I don't know if I care about the Narset that much. There's a Dream Trawler. That's scary. <laughs> we want to get our Dream Trawler back, obviously. So now we're looking for Kaya's Wrath. That'll do, though. Get rid of that. Okay. Alright, he's running out of cards in hand, but yeah, we're just... Oh, he exiled my... Oh, I made a huge mistake. It's kind of nice, I guess. Alright, that's not very good for us. Well, that is good for us. <laughs> okay, I take it back, I take it back. Take the loyalty back. Fairy, huh? I think I do take to fairy. Drop him on down. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, please no. Okay, good. So I'll be able to tap this. He can't counter any spells right now. This time, remember to cast this. Before... <laughs> Cast this before. Now, if he's smart, he's just going to let it go back to his hand, right? Yep. Good. Um. We submit zero here. Because I'm pretty sure if he cancels it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is the luckiest thing in America. <laughs> I'm so lucky this game. Oh my god. Oh, Dream Trawler. Oh, his Dream Trawler's gone, and I've got Teferi and Narset. So we have to hope he doesn't find another... Oh, Unreal. So, so lucky. So it's plus here. It's minus here. He's seen all the he's seen every Narset here, so Thought Erasure first? That's yeah, Thought Erasure first. Okay, he's holding a Thought Erasure as well. Do I need another I don't need another one of those? Okay, so we have to get the Narset down. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. So I guess we play another Teferi, because I'm stupid. <laughs> wow, I've done I've done everything wrong, basically. We'll see if he discard it. He'll discard it. Yep. I don't think I get to draw a card because of that. So we're definitely gonna lose this first game because I made a lot of stupid plays, basically. Well, and our opponent got super lucky in his open hand, but I also made a ton of misplays. Holy cow. So... Yeah, I can't do that, because if I do that, I don't have a blue. I guess we just keep looking for the, uh... Yeah, none of this helps me, really. Oh, I shouldn't have chose that one. Whoops. Let's just run this out here to gain a little life. Plus our Teferi. We have one more Narset. Boy, part of me thinks he should really be not attacking that right now, but, you know. Dang it! Man, this is tough. So, that's an easy choice. Boy, I wish I had like one more. So let's play the Narset. 
Well, it's going to save me life one more time. There's Kaya's Wrath. So I have to hope he doesn't have another discard. I don't think he will. Um, so with the Kaya... Okay, so he's going all in. He wants to draw some cards now. Oh, so does he have a counter spell? It shouldn't matter, though. If he has another removal... I can't believe I'm stuck in this mirror. This is so... I hate mirror matches, honestly. Okay. He must have a counter. So Teferi's gone. Mortify's going. And then Kaya's Wrath is going off. Yep. So I guess I'll play this. This is a hard matchup to figure out. I'm doing everything wrong, basically. I mean, I kind of want to give up. I really want to give up, honestly. But... So we'll take this. Yep. Um, okay, so let's get out of this one. We kind of did everything wrong, basically. In fact, I think I'm honestly just going to quit out of this mirror. Oops. I really don't even want to play this. <laughs> it's just so dull to play the mirror. And I'm already Bronze Rank 3, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, how are we doing on time? 540, okay. So let's try one. Let's hope we don't get a mirror match. I need so many misplays. Holy cow. Um, wow. Will I just get a mirror match again? Opponent goes first again. I have three temples again. This is incredible, right? Again with three temples. I think we keep this, though. Because we've got to fairy, so and it get finding an untapped land would be nice, be very nice. Okay. All right, so we're really looking for an untapped black source here. Not an untapped black source, because we're gonna have to Kai's Wrath this board like ASAP. Essentially, we have the Kai's Wrath already. <sighs> okay. Well, there's not an untapped source, but it is a black source, so take it. Don't think I want another one of these. This just an un any untapped land at this point now will actually do just fine for me. Okay. Oh my God, please. <laughs> Please, an untapped land, anything. I could scry two. Well, I actually get the basically the effect of scrying two here. Banishing light, we'll get rid of that. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this happening? Is this really happening to me? Are you kidding me? Wow, this is incredible. How many cards have we put? So we've got one down there. I've got three down there. I've, I think I drew this and this or something. Um, okay. So this is an easy win if we get our... I mean, maybe we're not in as much... Wow. It's really frustrating. Let's play this. Get, get out of here. <laughs> We're just going to get the Teferi down. We'll draw another card here. Send this boy back. 
if he wants to sack this to protect something, that's okay by me. Wow. Incredible. Well, at least it seems like there's nothing you can do for the Ka about the Kai's Wrath here. For the most part. So we definitely have an uphill battle. He's got 28 life. But we're about to go off here. We're, yeah, we are at 8, though, which is very scary. I wonder what this is. Oh, nice to see ya. Alright, so now we Kai his Wrath. So this should not do anything. Gains protection, so this... Because this doesn't target anything. Yep. So he's going to gain life, which I basically don't care about, so which is completely fine. Now we're sort of in a bind, because right, I literally have nothing to deal with whatever's in his hand. I just have a dream troll. So I probably play the Prophecy, right? Or do I play Narset here? Well, we can play both. Let's play the Narset. It's minus here. We might get something to deal with this, so... Could get the Agonizing Remorse, so which would kill any would would take anything in his hand. I think we take the Kai's Wrath. That's like the safety play here. He would have played a land if he got it, so let's get rid of whatever's in his hand. Yep. Um one, two, three, four, five. I have five mana. I think I just bin that. I don't think I need it. Because we're really looking for another land here. Oh, 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 that is actually very bad for me, I think. So he does attack the Narset, interesting. So we play this. Do I need the Godless Shrine? No, because next turn's Dream Trawler turn, so let's get rid of that. The Kai's Wrath, just get rid of that thing. And now we hope we don't die. We are so close. We're so close to stabilizing here. Those tap lands in the beginning. Oh my god. So bad for us. So I'm assuming... We'll see if he can target it. This is a Banishing Light. If he top decked a Banishing Light after he got rid of one already. Can't imagine this deck... Oh, yep, we just lost. Wow. Yeah, that's just such bad luck. We would have had so much more life. I maybe I guess I should have kept that thing. So we'll take bring another Kaya's Wrath. We'll bring in Noxious Grass, which is great. A D Spark? I didn't see anything that expensive, so probably not. Someone comes out. Ashiok is not as useful this game. So let's get rid of him. No oaths in that game either? Bummer. Probably the Agonizing Remorse, because he's just going to dump his hand so fast. See, let's get rid of that too. Actually, Kaya. Kaya's good too. She actually kills creatures. So let's get rid of another. Uh, let's get rid of another. Let's do the Thought Erasure. Um, is this what we want? Do I bring in these Dovin's Vetoes, too? Ah, uh, no. He's going to be mostly creatures. Let's do that. I think we can still come back and win this. It doesn't look good, obviously. That, I mean, that game was so winnable. If we ever found an untapped land in that beginning part, it would have been very easy. I mean, I could have... I, I should have kept that Tyrant Scorn, I guess. I would like to play first. Okay. This hand is fine. Let's get our white, blue, black out there. Yep, I want to hit my land drops. Ooh, actually, we do not have two white, which is not good for us. Maybe that's okay, though. Oh, it's going to be okay, because we're going to play this, and we'll find our white mana now. Or we will not find our white mana now. God, this is unbelievable. How hard, this, how hard our mana base is treating us. Got to turn off my heater. So 
So there's a dream trawler. So what are we gonna play? So do I have anything for two right now? No, but I have lots of stuff for three. So I think we're gonna play something for three right now. And the question is, is it Oath of Kaya? I think it's Kaya the Usurper to get rid of that little Eidolon thing. So which means the turn after that is gonna be Kai, Oath of Kaya. I think. We do this, and we play this little Kaya here. Oh, I guess I should have Oath. He actually didn't have any mana to protect his Impassioned Orator. So I have to hope he doesn't have another Eidolon. If he has another Eidolon... Uh, nope. Okay. He's going to attack that. That's okay by me. I'm going to draw like a million bazillion cards here. And then Giant Killers, whatever. Okay. That's right, this is the when you cast a spell with the chosen name the first time this turn, draw two cards. So let's draw two cards. Wow, this is unreal. One more chance to find a white mana. Oh. <laughs> How is this happening? Is this, re is this real life? <laughs> I mean, I guess I, I guess I don't need the Kai's Wrath that badly right now. Well, there's the white mana. Okay. So do I just wait on the Kai's Wrath? I think so, because that saves me two life. I can play this. I know I have a prophecy in one of the piles that he's going to give me. Mmm. Coffee. Delicious. Helps you wake up in the morning. All right, so let's see what it gives me. I know I have the prophecy on top. Does he remember that I know that the prophecy's there? It kind of doesn't matter here because I'd almost rather take. So uh, this is probably just worth it still, huh? Yeah, get rid of the Narsa, that's okay. What is it? Man, he must be just overdrawing lands big time here. I mean, I'm pretty certain I'm going to just block this because I don't really care about this guy. So. Are you a one mana guy? It is a one mana guy. Alright, I think he's going to quit after this. This is my, this is my prediction. He's done. So I'm going to take something of his, although these are maybe all lands, <laughs> or Banishing Lights or something. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take that for sure. Um. Well, I need a way to close out this game. Does Narset close out this game? I don't think so. I mean, I don't think he's going to have cards to draw. I don't I don't think he's going to have any of that, so. Yeah, that thing is whatever. Let's exile some stuff. Get rid of those. Say goodbye to those. Let's see if we can get a land off of our Oracle, which is what I would really like. All right, let's move this microphone more in front of my face. I mean, I, I'm taking the lands here. I will take that. Um, well, get rid of that thing. 
And now we're playing the Dream Trawler. And that should make life pretty easy for us. Hopefully, we have a lot of cards, a lot of removal. The only problem is if his, uh, okay, that's good. So now we're gonna be going second though. So that's a little tricky. Is there anything we would do differently going second, like in our sideboard? I don't think so. We're still, this is still a strong, I think I still have a strong list against mono white. Again, maybe the Dovin's Veto is better than some of these, than something else. I don't know. I, I think we stick with this for now. 553. Feeling free. All right, so I go second now, though. Ooh, uh, okay. Okay, this is a very good... This is actually a great hand. Holy cow. Because I just have a ton of options to deal with the stuff he's going to play. If we could get, you know, like one more land with black in it that would be ideal there's one more land with black in it thank you oh oh oh, oh what a draw oh man we are so not worried about anything now also these guys kind of stink don't they and i think we just keep our life high this moment. I actually can't play any of these targeted spells because of these things, you know? Oh, he doesn't have any lands. He doesn't have any lands. What? Sure. I'm gonna kill all these things. Did you just forget to attack me or something? I'll just sacrifice them all. Amazing. Does he not have... Oh, so lucky. I mean, luckily, I think we're going to be able to deal with anything he does now. Oh, actually, this kind of stinks. My Narset is... I think we just play the Narset, keep our health high. We can dig for some more board clears or removal or honestly whatever we want. I think against this type of deck, you see a you see a Kai's Wrath, you take a Kai's Wrath. Did he accidentally skip his turn? Maybe is that what happened? I actually don't really know what happened. Okay, yep. So there's Gideon. So luckily, we can deal with him like very easily this time. Sure. You're gonna attack this or my face? Probably me. Oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm okay with this. So let's for sure. Well, so I have to noxious grabs grasp grasp this thing right now. And then I guess I'd rather make sure I'm going to find a land here. Uh, get rid of one of those for sure. God, Temple. <laughs> Please, game. <laughs> I mean, I actually want him to run this stuff out, so. Good. Because we're just going to board clear. We'll just clear this all again. <laughs> now he's like, I don't need to kill the Narset anymore. That's old news. Uh, well, I'm at five mana. I think we can skip it now. We can officially skip it. So do I just mortify? He may actually, well. Yeah, let's cut his wrath this board. I mean, that's two resources for one. I still have one more Kai's wrath and then I have spot removal for kind of the rest. And anything, if he plays a one mana creature, I'll get rid of it with Kaya, with Kaya here. Perfect. We got our turn. Play the Kaya. Get rid of the giant killer. And then we'll Tyrant Scorn. That thing. And that's probably it, I'm guessing. I don't, I don't think I have anything else to be afraid of here now. 
Ha, I'll start gaining life by exiling cards. Two life at a time. Play a one mana creature. Rats. I mean, and now we just let's play the temple. Fairy's great. Yeah. To fairy the time raveler. Play this. Let's bounce this. Kaya comes into play. We have another Kaya. Let's gain some life. Uh, let's get rid of one of these and one of these, I guess. I don't really know. Sure. Ha! But I gained life. So now he's going to Banishing Light. He goes for the Kaya again. Okay. Do this. Let's play another Kaya. This must be getting pretty annoying at this point. And let's minus her. Play Metamodai, Metamodai's Prophecy. Scry 2. Temple gone. Narset gone. gone. I mean, now we're looking for a Dream Trawler or whoever, you know. Um, what am I going to play? <laughs> Teferi, probably. Time Raveler. Cool. And this Exiles target permanent with cost 3 or greater. Okay, so we're going to do that. Hope I got the right one there. Okay, yep, he's, uh, he's seen enough of this. <laughs> okay, well, that was good. Like I said, that matchup should be extremely easy for this deck. Like, this, that should not be a hard matchup. Wow! Wait, that's not unusual. We just won a bunch of stuff, so. Um, what time is it? 6 a.m. I gotta get ready to go to work. Let's see what we got in our pack. So that was good. We totally screwed up that first game. I know I just quit out. I, I didn't want to play the mirror, but the mono white meant uh, Underworld Breach. I, I'm wait, I keep waiting for like there to be a deck with this good. Anyways, so yeah, in our first match, our first match was the mirror, which I made a ton of play mistakes. And then I basically just said, well, it doesn't matter because I'm in bronze, so I can leave freely. Second game was a lot better because that's the type of deck that this deck is really geared to hopefully deal with, right? So with the Kai's Wrath and the Oath and the Mortifies and the Tyrant Scorn and D-Spark and like all this stuff um, is meant to deal with kind of an aggro deck. So that went well, especially after we sideboard in these types of cards, especially against Mono White. This would be okay against Mono Red too. The only issue with Mono Red is your, we'll, we'll see how it goes one of these mornings, but your life total <laughs> gets reduced so much faster that sometimes it's really hard to play the Kaya and um, exile a target one that is cost one or less because it's just like they're they're not that valuable cards that cost one but cool well i'll hopefully back be back tomorrow morning to you know win some games and not quit out early so all right have a good one have fun at work everyone i don't know whatever you do enjoy all right